Hello, and in this demo I'm going to show the correlation between an Apache ISIS application that's running and the underlying domain object model. So this is the application that's generated by the Quick Start archetype, and I've also got the application loaded up into Eclipse. So if we just uh, were to run our little action here, I've already loaded up the fixtures, and so we have one of our little to-do items. And on the left hand side we have uh, the properties of this uh, to-do item, description, category, whether it's complete and so forth. And in the code those would correspond to uh, simple um, properties, Java being properties with getters and setters. There's a description, a due by, is complete, owned by, category and so forth. And the different data types correspond to the different widgets that you can see in the user interface. Now another thing you might ask is what about the order? So if we look at description we can see that appears first and description is here and it's got an order of 1. If we look at uh, category that's um, appearing underneath. And category it's got an order of 2. If we look at is complete is complete has got an order of, well, four, but anyway, it's after two, one and two. So that's how that works. Another thing you might have noticed is we have a title. Where does that come from? Well, the title comes from the title method, which is sort of a reserved method. Now, there's actually more than one way of doing this, but this is the way it's been done. And it returns a string, and the value of that is used as the label. So you can see there's a bit of logic in here. If we were to uh, change this so it was a completed um, item, then you can see the label has changed there. Another thing you might have noticed is that the completed checkbox is disabled. If I click on edit, it remains as disabled. And so, how is that done? Let's go and look at it. Is completed, and we can see we have an annotation here, so it's declarative, it's always un uh, disabled. Let's look at something else. Um, we've already seen these actions, so completed, and we have another one here called not yet completed. So they correspond to public methods. Uh, completed, in fact, is here. And uh, not yet completed is just underneath. And you'll also might have noticed that if I have a, uh, a knock, this one's, what's this been? This is not yet being completed. So if I try to invoke that, nothing happens. But if I mark it as completed, then it is completed. And now that, that is actually saying you can't invoke that because it's already been completed. And this one comes back. So these two little actions are sort of opposites of each other. And they are marking themselves as enabled or disabled as necessary. And that is through the presence of these supporting actions, as we call them. So if this returns a nominal string, that is the reason that the action cannot be invoked. So we've seen something about properties over here on the left. We've talked a little bit about actions. Let's look at these collections, and so you can see that actually we have some buttons here. Now these buttons actually correspond also to actions, but they're grouped alongside the collection. So if I click on Add here, this is also an action. What's interesting is that it's an action uh, that takes a parameter, in this case a reference to another object. Hit OK, and now we've set up a dependency. So in the code, that's going to be the Add action, and we just ran through that little block of code here. Now again you can see there's a supporting action and this little rule says that you can't set up a dependency to yourself which kind of makes sense. So um, let's have a look at that. Here I am on the built by milk due action. Let's try to add a dependency to our self by milk due. And yes we can't actually set up a reference to that object. So there you go, that's a, a little bit of a run through about how Apache ISIS is able to build an application by using information that's there within the domain object model. Thanks a lot.